Hey there, Internet. Controversial topic today. Guns and booze. Now, opinions vary greatly on the matter, but here's my take on it. Bad things can happen at any time. Random acts of violence, by their very nature, are random. So if I'm going to go out and meet up with some friends and have a drink, am I going to willfully and voluntarily disarm myself? No. What I'm going to do is practice a little thing called personal responsibility. Now, as a society, we've turned our backs on that notion over the past few generations. Always looking for someone else to blame, always looking for someone else to take care of things. But, as gun owners, personal responsibility is doubly important. So what does this personal responsibility entail? Well, as a driver, if you have a few more than just a drink or two, you take the keys and you give them to a friend so you don't drive home drunk. As a gun owner, if a few drinks becomes more than a few drinks, what I like to do is unload my sidearm, give the bullets to a friend of mine, and tell them do not give these back until it's absolutely necessary. Why do I do that? Because as I said before, you never know when a random act of violence is going to occur. Now, I've added a little speed bump between me doing something drunkenly stupid with my firearm, but in case of an emergency, it's still in the vicinity that I could use it to protect myself and my friends. Now, why don't I advocate leaving the fire firearm at home completely? Well, a little story time. A few years ago, at St. Patrick's Day, uh, a group of friends and I went out, you know, thought we'd have some drinks, have some laughs, and I'm thinking to myself, well, you know, I'm with my friends, St. Patrick's Day, I'll just leave my gun at home. Wouldn't you know that that would be the day that I found myself on the wrong end of a knife? Now, I won't get into all the fine details, but me and my friends were on the Station Square in the south side of Pittsburgh, and this guy just pulled a knife, thought it was funny, big joke, slashed Hans, turned it on my buddy Josh, and I reached for my hip. One of the things that's worse than Having a, bringing a knife to a gunfight is bringing nothing to a knife fight. Now, we all got out of there, you know, relatively okay. But it could have been a lot worse. Could have went a lot of different ways. And from that point on, I figured it's better to be prepared. Now, if that means I can't drink as much as my friends, well, that's one of the things about being responsible, about being an adult. It comes with a price. So, I would rather be responsible and be safe than be at the wrong end of a knife ever again. So, my two cents, take it for what you will, but there it is. See you next time. If you like my video and you want to stay up to date with the news, and the politics of the Second Amendment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check my site out at bulletsfirst.net. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And we'll be seeing you next time.